Hi, this is Tracy at TRCast here to show you how quick and easy it is to set TRCast eyelets using our eyelet setter and anvil. Eyelets are a great cold connection. They are a single component, tubes with a flange at one end and open at the other. They can be used for simply creating holes in a material like our leather strap or for attaching design elements. Our eyelets are about 2.3 millimeters in diameter and come in three lengths and six finishes to give you a nice range of uses. The 3.7 millimeter is perfect for creating reinforced holes in leather to which you can then attach other elements or for connecting a single component to the leather. They work with a thickness range of about 2.5 to 3 millimeters. The medium length is 5.3 millimeters, great for connecting stacked materials like a single metal component or another layer or two of leather. And the longest is 6.8 millimeters, which increases your stacking range to between 4.5 and 6 millimeters thick and gives you all kinds of creative options. Your possibilities will vary depending on the firmness of your materials. If your stack includes metal components, your range will be less than if you are connecting all soft, squishy materials. If you are using soft, pliable leather like our leather strap, the eyelets require about a 2 millimeter hole, the smallest setting on standard leather hole punching pliers. If you are using stiff leather, use the second setting on the hole punching plier, about 2.5 millimeters. Setting the eyelet is easy. First, choose your eyelet length so that there is 0.5 to 1 millimeter of tube protruding from your materials. Too much and your eyelet may split when you set it. Too little and you won't have enough for a secure hold. The flange of the eyelet is the top. Just stack your material so that the flange is on top. Place top down onto our eyelet anvil. Position the eyelet setter into the tube. And tap gently with a hammer until set. If you are using a cupped component, such as our new flower or star jasmine rivetable, do the process upside down, placing the flange on the bottom. The end of the setting tool fits right inside, and this preserves the shape of the rivetable component. That's it. Pretty easy, really versatile, and very fun. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and check out our Pinterest boards for design ideas.